Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today, let's talk makeup. I wanted to show you guys from the beginning to end on how I like to achieve my go-to look, which is this look right here. So I really tend to go for looks that look a bit more natural, but still have like a clean, flawless aspect to them. I also like to have a little natural do coming through. I just love a natural looking vibe you know you can trick people and think like oh this is effortless although you know it took you an hour to do like that is the kind of thing that I love I'm also only using a hundred percent cruelty free products in here as always because you guys already know I'm a hundred percent against animal testing so I do not support any brands that do that but yeah, if you are interested in seeing how I achieve this look, then just continue to watch. All right, so let's just go ahead and jump straight in. I have a little bandana in my hair to keep my hair off my forehead. And then I've also gone ahead and done my eyebrows off camera just to make sure that this video wasn't like super long. Um, but if you are interested in seeing how I like to do my brows, I did do an entire YouTube video dedicated just to that. So I'm gonna link that somewhere up here so you can check that out as well. Okay, first things first, I am gonna start by priming my face. I am gonna go ahead and use the Huda Beauty Foundation, which is like a full coverage matte foundation. And whenever I'm using a matte foundation, I like to prime my face with something that's like super dewy, super moisturizing. And so because of that, I'm gonna reach for one of my all time favorite primers. And this is the Marc Jacobs Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. Okay, so this is so nice. It is super creamy and it just feels almost like a little lightweight moisturizer. It is so nice and it just smooths out my skin. And the coconut in it is just like, is super moisturizing and perfect to pair with a matte foundation if you're looking for more of like a natural matte. So we're gonna still get some dew shining through that matte foundation, which is exactly what I love. I hate when foundation is just too matte. I just, not for me. All right, so I used two full pumps of that primer. So as you can see, my face is really just glossy, glowing, and super moisturized. So I'm just gonna let this sit for like one minute to let it soak into my skin. But this is how I like my skin to be looking before I apply a matte foundation. So while this is setting into my skin, let's talk about this Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. So I wear the shade Chocolate Mousse, which is the 450G, and the G stands for golden. This is definitely too dark for me, but I love this because it's like a true golden shade. Like there is nothing orange about this. It is really just one of the most golden, brownie browns foundation that I've ever tried because it is a little bit darker we're gonna have to do some reverse contouring to kind of bring back the right shade but i'm gonna show y'all all of that this foundation is bomb not only the color but the consistency the finish of it it is amazing this is something that's slightly on the heavier side so not something that i would normally wear during the daytime i really like to reach for this when i'm filming on youtube or like if i need to take some really nice pictures and i want my skin to just look flawless so right now i'm looking a little bit like a glazed donut but don't worry once we set everything with powder it's just going to be the perfect mix between like matte with some dew shining through you're gonna see just hold that okay so before we set the entire face i'm gonna go in and do concealer i'm using my absolute favorite concealer of all time and this concealer is the Too faced born this way concealer i wear the shade warm sand for me what i look for in a concealer is something that is comfortable to wear and then also something that stays doesn't crease in order to reverse contour, I'm gonna go ahead underneath here and just do a line underneath where I would normally contour. What the reverse contour is gonna do is just gonna allow for a little natural contour to take place right here. So when I blend everything out, you'll see exactly what I mean. All 
All right, so as you can see, there's like a little natural contour going on because we highlighted here and highlighted underneath, which left the darker foundation to just give us like a more natural contour. Boom. All right, so now to take away some of this shine, I'm gonna go ahead and set my entire face with powder. My favorite setting powder is the Matte Setting Powder by Cover FX. This is bomb. I wear the shade Medium, which is like not too light, but also not too dark. It's got like a very warm undertone to avoid any flashback. And yeah, honestly, this is my OG Ride or Die setting powder. I don't use anything else ever. So to apply my powder to set my face, I'm using my Morphe Y3 brush, which is from their Gilded collection. This is Balm. Let me show you. It's just a really super fluffy brush with a slight tapered angle at the top. So I don't like to bake. I just like to kind of press the powder into my skin as we go along. I find that my skin just gets completely like way too dried out if I let the powder sit there like in a chunk and just let it bake. I, mm -mm, it's not for me, bacon was not meant for me. Ta-da, no more glazed donut. But as you can see, when I turn my face to the side, we still got that dew coming through, even though we used a matte setting powder and a matte foundation. This is what I like. All right, so next I'm gonna go in and deepen this contour just a little bit further, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab some bronzer in order to do so. So the bronzer that I'm currently using is by Natasha Denona. This is her Contour Sculpting Powder, and I wear the shade 04 Dark. So I'm just gonna grab a really dense brush. This is actually one of the brushes from Tarte Cosmetics. I like to use a dense brush because it allows for more control and I'm really just going to kind of press the powder into my skin and just in the areas that I want to contour. All right, so I think this is coming along good. Everything is looking nice and fresh and natural. So next I'm gonna go ahead and apply some blush. This is gonna bring back a little bit of color, like rosy color back into the face. A blush that I've really been loving lately is by Tarte Cosmetics and this is in the shade Blissful. And I just like to apply blush very lightly to the apples of my cheeks. I love me like a really nice pinky, peachy blush. It just gives you this kind of like a healthy little flush to your face and it just looks so cute. So because we use such a dewy primer, I'm actually going to skip the highlighting step completely. <gasps> Instead of it looking like a strike of glitter, sometimes I just prefer for it to just look like a natural healthy glow. All right, and then just before we jump into eyes really quick, I am gonna grab some setting spray to set in all of our complexion. I love to reach for the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Setting Spray. This is on the dewier side, so if you do have more oily skin, then I would say maybe go for a matte setting spray because we use so much dewy primer. Okay, so now for eyes, I am going to use one of my all-time favorite palettes of life. This is also by Too Faced, and this is their Just Peachy Matte Eyeshadow Palette. It's so bomb. This palette is just pure matte eyeshadows, and it's just filled with all types of natural looking shades. You've got your browns, your peachy, and a little bit of like purpley maroony goodness in there as well. So this is just one of my go-to palettes if I just want something super Super simple, super easy. So really what I'm gonna go for with my eyes today is kind of to just contour them. So I'm looking to deepen the crease and like the outer side of my eye just to give it like a little bit extra definition. Nothing too crazy, just a really simple eye that kind of just says, hey. So to start, I am gonna grab my Morphe Y16 brush. This is just a beautiful blending brush. So for my transition color, I am gonna go in with peach tea.
Okay, so sometimes I'll just do this color and stop here, literally one eyeshadow, just to kind of, you know, give a little bit of color to the crease and then that's it. But today we're gonna take it a step further and I'm gonna take some deeper browns to just kind of contour out the outer side of my eye. So to contour the outside of the eye, I'm going in with my Morphe Y18 brush. It is a denser brush, so that is gonna allow us for a little bit more control when applying the darker shades. And then I'm just gonna dip into Chocolate Dipped, which is the deepest brown shade in the palette. So when I'm applying darker eyeshadows, in order to stay in control and not get too crazy and end up having raccoon eyes, I always like to start by pressing the product into the skin first. Then I'm just gonna take my Morphe Y19 brush with no product on it and just use this to then blend out our chocolatey eyes. Then I'm just gonna go back in again with my Y16 brush and the transition color and just go back in and blend some more of that into the crease. All right, and then that is it for eyeshadow. This is just something super simple. All we've kind of done is given a little bit of dimension to the eye. All right, so next we're gonna move on to lashes. So first, before I apply my lashes, I like to apply a little bit of mascara. So for mascara, I'm grabbing my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and just gonna lightly coat my lashes before we stick some falsies on. So the reason why I like to apply mascara before I apply my falsies is because it just allows my natural lashes to blend in with the falsies a little bit better. I don't like to apply mascara once the lashes are on just because I feel like that can sometimes damage the false lashes a bit and I kind of like to hold on to my lashes for as long as possible and get as much wear out of them as I can. So the lashes I'm going to be using today are again something very natural and just to give my lashes a little bit of help. This is my current go-to lash. Super natural, very easy to wear, very easy to apply. And this is the Ardell Foam mink wispy lashes okay so the lash glue that I like to use is by duo this is just the regular drugstore lash glue that you'll find at like any kind of pharmacy I specifically like the one with a brush just because I personally find that easier to apply to my lashes okay so I'm just gonna coat my false lashes with a very thin layer of glue you don't want to go too crazy and then I usually just like to apply a little extra glue to the very the two very ends of the lashes just to make sure that those parts stick down. Now before I actually apply the false lashes, I like to wait maybe two minutes or so just to give the glue some time to get a little bit more sticky. If you try and just apply your lashes as soon as you put on the glue, they're gonna be moving around and it's just gonna be more difficult to apply. So I found that that was like a major key when I really learned how to do lashes. You gotta wait for the glue to get a little bit more tacky and you'll find that it's just like, it makes your life so much easier. So I like to apply my lashes with tweezers, that is just my preference, I just find it easier that way. And what I do is just grab the lashes with the tweezers in the middle, like so, and then just apply as close as I can to my lash line. So you can see like it's a still really natural kind of look, but it just, I don't know, lashes just always kind of give you a little bit of extra sum sum. All right, and then just gonna go ahead and apply lashes to my other eye. Ta-da! All right, and then the last step for this look is going to be lips. Again, I really just like to go for something a little bit more nude, something more natural, and just something that is very comfortable to wear on the lips. So to line my lips, I'm gonna use one of the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Lip Liners in the shade Attitude. Just 
So this is just like a nice little nudie soft brown. And then on top, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm just in the Universal Pink shade. As you can see, mine is almost finished, so I definitely need to restock soon. Boom. All right guys, and that is it for this look. Something super simple, but we still look kind of clean, flawless and put together, I just love this. We don't look like we're doing too much. We look like we spent two seconds on this. I just like this look a lot because it looks very natural and effortless, but at the same time, it's like clean and flawless. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you guys are enjoying more of the makeup stuff. As always, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.